Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. Okay, guys, it's 6.30. I'm just pouring coffee here. And look who's escaped. Again. This duck doesn't want to stay in the pen. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Duck Adventure, April the 23rd, and the second take. Uh, you're not going to believe it. I uh, let the ducks out. I did everything. Went in the Muscovy Shack. I uh, did the whole morning thing for you guys to show you what's happening here, and I never hit record. So, ducks are already out. They're all over there uh, playing. I'll just give you a shot here. I couldn't believe it. It was a really good uh, rush this morning. They actually were following me around the yard. They've... Uh, they wasted no time going straight to the muck. So we're going to go back into the Muscovy Shack for a second take here. I don't believe this. I haven't done that in a long time. So we've got eight ducks in here. Uh, one of the females is out. I've already tried to uh, herd her in, which I had the camera running and she flew away. We missed that because I didn't hit the record button. But we've got eight of them in here. Now, I'll show you what i got for eggs because you guys are going to keep track of this. I'm not. Okay, so I just lift the plywood up here. Oh, look at that, she's back. Okay, I think there was eight eggs in here. So this duck is back in here. There's four eggs here, four eggs in this one, and none in this end one. Okay, we'll just close that back up because if she wasn't in it the first time I came here, when I didn't hit the record button. So there's two in this one, there's one egg in this one, one egg in this one, Six in this one, and then six in this one here. Now, there, the, this one down here, the second one from the end, no eggs whatsoever. So, I don't know what we had yesterday, I can't remember. But, I can't believe I didn't hit the record button. Anyways, um, so the curveball today, I got a bit of a curveball, which I explained earlier in the other take that I didn't record. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm losing it here. Um, we got our nasty storm coming. Believe it or not, to call them for snow. Anyways, we got snow, rain coming, the temperatures grows, and I've got a, bur a burning permit that uh, I'm gonna take advantage of here. I'm gonna burn that pile out front that I tried to burn this winter that didn't burn. I've gotta get it off the property. There's a bunch of duck carcass heads and stuff like that from last year. So I gotta finish the burn so that I can, uh, one, get the stuff off the property, and two, uh, so that Doug stops bringing me back duck heads. He keeps bringing me back rotten duck heads, uh, which they're just disgusting. He thinks they're a toy. <laughs> it's funny to watch with his rotten heads and he's throwing them around the yard. But anyways, we're going to do egg recon here. Uh, oh, little girl. Look at this. She's back in the corner. I wonder if it's the same duck. But I'm going to steal her eggs. She's got quite the little nest going there. But I can't trust Peking's bees. You know, they can sit on the nest for... You know four five ten days and then just up and walk away but uh yesterday oh yesterday uh i got 27 eggs is what we got in the barn not a lot really if you think about it so uh you know it's like really for the amount i was you know getting previously i should be getting like you know 40 eggs uh not 27 so we'll see what we get today all right we're gonna do egg recon dougie all right but doug you're staying out of here you're not coming in back Get back. Oh, it's good when you listen. Now the question is, are you going to stay out there? Are you going to stay? How about you sit? Doug, sit. That's a good dog. Now you stay there. Let's see what we got for eggs here. So yesterday was 27 in the barn. So, oh, they're nice and clean. Oh, I like this clean egg thing, guys. It gets me all excited. Because, you know, we're not going to wash off the... The antibacterial bloom, so it's got to help us. Has what? Well, it shouldn't say it's got to help us, you know, but we got to hope it does. They're nice looking eggs, though. Look at this. The ducks are getting really trained at this, you know. One, they're, uh, you know, laying the eggs in the right places, and two, you know, that they're. They go in at night for me. All right, oh, I forgot to count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. So 11 and 15. Sixteen. Oh, look at this, 16. 
19. Oh, they're hiding some. So it was 1923. 24. She left. 24. 26. Oh, they're really warm. 26. 28. That's not, that's bizarre. You know, like it's, there's got to be a molt coming on. Oh, there's some more. So that was 28. Okay, so 31. We're a little bit better, but still not good. Because, you know, considering, you know, before I separated the Scovies, I was getting like 45 to 50 eggs a day. That's, uh, and there's, you know, them Scovies, they're laying their own eggs. Let me just make sure I'm not missing any here. No, well, nothing there. Yeah, they're not even using these nests. They're only in certain nests. Well, let's go for a quick walk around the pen and see if there's any more eggs. Oh, Dougie, you're being so good. Some days you're just amazing. Oh, yes. All right. Let's see what we've got in the pen. Yeah, I'm going to work on the uh, the back room tomorrow and get it all uh, ready, clean, get it all set up. And that way I can screw around. I got to get that I got to get that burnt out front. It's a real mess. And like I said, Doug keeps bringing me back duck parts. Rotten duck heads. <laughs> it's like he just loves them. Okay. It's been raining here. Oh, it's so, it's so damp, guys. I'm actually looking forward to standing in front of a big fire. No, well, that's it for eggs. Well, the ducks are... We got it, There must be a molt going to start happening. It's the only thing that makes any sense. You know, the ducks are going through a molt and, or some of them are going to stop laying. Because there's no other reason for them to... Uh, for the egg production, just unless, you know, they need the Muscovies to coax them. And they lead by example. Who knows? Hey, they're ducks. Oh, they're down there cleaning up the scratch. Oh, I don't believe these ducks. They got premium feed in the barn, which they're really powering it down. I'm telling you, I can't believe I looked inside the feeder there and it's like three quarters gone. It's right to the water. But no sign of the geese today. All right. I'm going to go. I got to uh, gonna do the water in the pan. Do some chores here. Get the ducks taken care of. And then uh, I've got to drag out a whole whack of garden hoses and uh, run the hoses out front to the burn pile because I've got to make sure I've got a, a water source just in case. Better be safe than sorry. So I've got a lot of screwing around here to do before I can light the fire. But I got to burn it today. It's got to get done. All right, guys. This is the uh, the pile that uh, this is what burnt out. It only burnt out the center. And the outside was completely covered in ice and snow this winter, so I couldn't burn it. But I've got to burn it today. I got to clean this all up, and it's all got to get burnt because uh, Doug. <laughs> this is what Doug keeps bringing back. Keeps bringing back these rotten duck heads to the house. So all of this is going to get burnt this afternoon. I got a permit. And I didn't tell you guys the last time I had the fire, the fire department showed up because I didn't have a permit and somebody called saying it was an out of control fire. Totally forgot to tell you guys about that. It was something that I wasn't too proud of, but um, I got a permit now, so they, they can't come. And today there's no wind uh, and uh, we're supposed to have a crap load of rain and snow, so it's a perfect opportunity to have a fire and relax. And I've actually got a couple brews and I'm going to sit here and enjoy myself. Well, brain dead, enjoying myself, burning uh, duck guts. And people, this is why I have to have a fire today. Doug is obsessed with rotting duck heads. Doug, I've taken, this, I've taken so many away from him today. I gotta get this fire going. Do you want it back in? Come on. Doug back, Doug back. There, <laughs> do you believe that? Well, this is uh, saying goodbye to last year's flock officially. And Doug's hiding in the truck. Oh, what a dog. Okay, Doug, what are you doing? You're going to puke on me? You've eaten enough duck heads. 
Well, I've just, Doug likes two kinds of ducks. Roasted duck and rotten duck. I've been trying to get the duck heads from them. I've been raking them up and uh, I, I've been hunting for them in the bush. Actually, they're scattered everywhere. So between Doug and the uh, the foxes and coyotes and whatever was coming here to eat, they had freaking duck heads all over the place. But now, actually, he, st he started coming over to me at the fire there, guys. Uh, I'm just taking a bit of a break right now. But uh, <laughs> I guess as soon as he figured out I was burning all his duck heads, he uh, decided he better come over and have some snacks. Because he didn't come over to see me, he just came over to have snacks. Working with Doug here when he gets all, when he hears something and he's been, uh, the geese will freak out and get him to run. And we've had a couple of false alarms, all of course, this time of year. All the noises in the bush. But uh, we just ran over here and <laughs> look who, was, who escaped. I just put her in there and I, like, I don't know why. I, I don't know what time it is because I don't have a watch on her. Probably a couple hours ago. I've been burning for over two hours, I think. And she's out again. What a duck. We got to know what we got to do. We got to tag this duck. And uh, it's Houdini. I just don't believe this girl. And it looks like the same duck. I won't know until I edit and I can see the you know, markings on the head. But from what my memory tells me. What a little thing. Oh. All right, guys. I guess it was a false alarm, duck. Duck, Doug. Ducks and Doug. I gotta go back to the fire. Well, Doug's over his fear. Fire's there. He's laying there watching everything. He's uh, done a lot of freaking peeking and running back to the ducks, which is rather cool. But I guess uh, after a while, he was laying in the back of the truck there, and I guess he figured that this was going to last a little too long. He couldn't wait it out. So he had to deal with it. But it's healthy to have a little bit of fear of fire. That's a healthy thing to have. Because if you don't, you can die. Doug just heard the ducks freak. I can't believe this dog, like any noise they make. Good dog. He looked over, everything's fine, he's coming back. Oh, dog, you're so awesome. Just coming back from the uh, fire to get a drink here. Sitting by the fire watching it burn down. And uh, the ducks are, uh, they're hunting. And they're so quiet. They're so focused, actually. They're not making a sound. Now think about this, guys. When was the last time you heard the ducks this quiet? Oh, I hear Canada geese on the lake. Well, let's, let's let them know where I'm here. Hello? Hello, ducks? You're not gonna talk to me? Oh. Okay. 7.30, and that's what the pile's burned down to, guys. So I've got a little bit longer to go yet. Uh, and I gotta go lock the ducks up. And I've got a probably gonna have to uh, douse it with the hose before I go to bed. But that's uh, now uh, the last year's flock cleaned up. Not, no traces whatsoever on the property. It's about uh, eight o'clock. Fire's still going. I'm uh, locking the ducks up here. Oh, look at this, the little Muscovy. Oh, that's so cute. Everybody else is in their side of the pen. But look who's waiting to go in her side. Oh, I don't believe this. I actually do not believe this. But I can't believe they're in the pen so early. Come on, girl. Go in with your side. I don't believe this, how you waited. That's unbelievable, actually. All right. These guys are on their side. That's really, if you think about it. Come on, Doug. We gotta go back out to the fire. We're not done yet. We're getting there. It's getting smaller. 
I can't believe that, that the Muscovy is waiting to get in her side. All right, turn the uh, fence on. And I'll give you a quick shot of uh, what the uh, fire looks like, what's left of it. I'm going to be out for a while yet. And that's what's left of the fire. So, not much left. I'm going to sit here about another hour and then I'll take the hose and I'll soak it and then uh, that'll be it. But everything's gone. Burnt to nothing. <laughs>